Yeah, greetings people. It's your boy, the righteous messenger and the rhythm rider. The plumber and the handyman. Yeah, you can call me whatever you like, I don't mind. I'm on for a client has called me in and this is a, a mixer shower. A thermostatic mixer shower and the customer is complaining that the shower is not getting hot enough. The water coming out of the shower head yeah it's not getting hot enough so i'm going to try and have a look at it i've um checked all the hot water outlets and um space heaters and they're all working properly so i suspect the fault should be on the temperature valve on this mixer shower this is a temperature valve here. This is where you get the hot water from, the cold water is from here, and it mixes in the middle and comes out. So I'm going to take off this handle here and um, try and adjust the control on the temperature valve. Normally, what I would do or I would advise is change the whole temperature valve or you can replace this mixer bar or mixer shower but if you're on a low budget and you don't have money like me and you just want to do adjustments you can you know take this cap off and adjust the control on the temperature valve and then when you get money you can get the temperature valve or a new mixer shower this is something you can do yourself DIY you know once again if you're on a budget like me but if you can't do it yourself you can pay me to come and do it for you as well so people these are the tools you are going to need you're going to need a bucket to you know check the temperature when you're adjusting the temperature valve and then you're going to need the screws to the screwdrivers to take off the cup the inner screws when you come across when you're taking off the handle on the temperature valve you need grips to hold and and the, the control on the temperature valve and adjust it um i put this pen there as well because before i begin i'm going to use the pen to mark the control on the temperature valve so that i don't get confused when i'm adjusting it so people you see this is the temperature valve and this black cap here yeah we're going to take it off that's what's going to expose the screw that is holding the handle to the valve. People, as you can see, I have taken off the cup. Yeah. And um, you can see the screw there. I'm going to unscrew that to take off this handle. And when you're doing this, make sure that you block the drains so that you don't get lose the screws or the cup put them in a safe place so that you don't lose them two people have taken over and screwed the handle on the temperature valve and I've taken it off so this is what you are going to adjust to get the hot water to come back to its normal temperature or to make it hotter because the client or the customer is complaining that the water is not getting hot enough so people this is where the pen comes in handy i'll take the pen and then i'll just mark here like this so that i know what i'm doing when i'm adjusting it people if you can see i've taken out the shower head because i don't want to get wet i don't want water to go everywhere um i'm 
going to try and adjust this button or this lever here and see if the water gets hot again i want to test it from this bucket <coughs> well, basically when you turn it when you turn it forward it's getting hot when you turn it backwards it's getting cold so i'm going to turn it forward a little bit and test it oh that's too much in it Yeah, so people have adjusted it. The water is getting hot again. Um, this is just a domestic setting, so I just use my, my hand to check the temperature on the water, but there are tools or devices like a thermometer or some sort of temperature checker that you can use to check the temperature of the of the water because there are regulations regarding how much the water can get in this sort of appliances yeah um also it's important to note that the water gets to its desired temperature I say if i turn this temperature valve here within one minute the required temperature should be flowing through the shower head yeah so when you are testing or adjusting the temperature valve you need to leave at least one minute before you you know try adjusting it so that you can get the desired temperature or so you can adjust it properly and when I was working on it i noticed that this handle here is a bit stiff maybe that's the problem that's where the problem is coming from but i've managed to get it a bit loose you see like this thing here so you just spring back it's springing back but not all the time so this one i would um advise the client to just change this you know when they get a budget for it anyway people is your boy the righteous messenger rhythm rider a plumber and a handyman i just came to try to you know show you how to adjust the temperature on your mixer shower diy style you see if i didn't do anything rightly or if think something's wrong something i said you don't agree with it leave comments peace